Hi, welcome to VMware Tutorial for Beginners. In this series, we are learning how to make a home lab with VMware Workstation step-by-step -step for network and system administration practices. In the previous video, we have configured virtual machine in detail. We have described and showed you most of the required settings for virtual machine configurations. Today, we will work with the virtual networking. I will show you elaborately how VMware provides various networking options to accomplish different different networking scenarios. So let's get started. If you go to the virtual machine setting on the networking option, you can see we have three type of networking to assign to virtual machine. Bridge networking, NAT and host only. I will discuss later about custom and LAN segment. Bridge networking connects virtual machine to physical network. NAT shares host IP address with virtual machines. And in the host only network, virtual machines will be isolated from physical network. It will only be able to communicate with other virtual machines. Let me show you the topology diagrams to describe the scenarios. Then I'll go for the practicals. Here you can see our physical network. All PC and servers are connected in a switch within a subnet range under the same router and internet connection. PC1 is our home lab. All the virtual machines are connected in a bridge network. They are bridging over the PC1's LAN card to communicate with the physical network. As they are directly connected to the physical network, they are also treated like physical systems. They can directly talk to the router and get internet connection just like other physical systems. If we have multiple LAN card on PC1, we can create multiple bridge network and VMs can connect to another different network through a different router. In this way, we can make a complex lab scenario if we can use multiple LAN card for bridging. On the NAT network, Virtual machines get connected to an internal router maintained by VMware Workstation. All the VMs got an internal gateway and traffic are source netted to go to the internet. So NAT network virtual machines subnet and physical network subnet are different. We can do source and destination NAT from the VMware's NAT service. Soon I will show you details in practical. On each VMware Workstation, we can create only one NAT network. And on the host only network, virtual machines can communicate only among themselves. The traffic from the host only network are not routable, so they will not reach internet. This is completely separate network only for the virtual machines. On the NAT and host only network, there is a mechanism to include a virtual adapter to communicate with the host system. I will show you detail very soon. Now let's do some practicals. Okay, now let's work with the bridge networking. We need to understand how bridge networking work. I have two virtual machine here, Windows 7 Bridge 1 and Windows 7 Bridge 2. Bridge 2 is running. Edit virtual machine setting. On the network adapter, we can choose the bridge network. If we are running virtual machine on a laptop or other mobile device, we can select this option. These settings will cause the IP address to be renewed automatically when we change cable or join another wireless network. Click OK. Now the system is joined with the physical network. On the Windows 7, if we check our IP, our IP is 100.71 and gateway is 100.1. Now if you ping our gateway 100.1, we can ping. So these virtual machines are connected to the physical network directly. If I show you my LAN card, here I have two LAN card, LAN 1 and LAN 2. LAN 2 is disconnected and LAN 1 is connected to router. If I show you my IP address, this is 50.101 and it is connecting to the 50.1, which is my MicroTik router. If I log into my MicroTik router, here you can see that I have 50.1. So my physical PC, And connect to the router and I have another subnet on the router that is 100.1 and my virtual machine has IP address 100.71 now I can ping to 100.1 so just like my physical system my virtual machine also can talk to the router directly on the bridge network which physical LAN card should act as the bridge adapter we can choose from the virtual network editor 
if we go to change setting here you can see that by default the vmnet 0 this is the bridged network and it is connecting with the realtek pci gb family controller adapter this is my gigabit adapter if i change it to controller 3 which is currently now disconnected my virtual machine should not ping to the router so it cannot communicate with the router now if we assign the bridge adapter to the enabled LAN card now if we ping again now you can see that our virtual machine can ping to router as I have another LAN card on the system I can use this LAN card to create another bridge network let's go to virtual network editor let's click add network let's say VMnet 10 by default it is host only but we can select bridge and which LAN card we want to dedicate with this VMnet 10 network so we are selecting the second LAN card which is not used by any other virtual network if the physical LAN card is used by another network it will not show on the available bridge 2 option so let's click apply so we have created another bridge network which is VMnet 10 but it is not actually connected to the physical network now we can change this bridge network to custom and if you choose VMnet 10 and if we ping our router it should not ping change it from the virtual network editor change settings bridged let's remove now if we change the default VMnet 0 to this disabled LAN card and we create the VMnet 10 with the enabled one now I should ping to my router so hope you understand that I can create multiple bridge network if I have multiple physical LAN card and I can create multiple bridge network from the virtual network editor and we can choose which LAN card it should use for the bridging so like this diagram we can use multiple LAN card to create multiple bridge network in this way we can create complex virtual network for various network and system administration practices now let's work with the NAT network on the edit virtual machine setting we can choose the NAT option and if we select the NAT then The system will get an IP address automatically because when we choose the NAT network with each NAT and host only network there is a DSCP service connected VMware workstation acting as a DSCP server so for the NAT network here is the DSCP setting subnet IP 192.168.199 if you go to DSCP setting we can see that 199.128 to 254 can be assigned to virtual machine so if you release the IP and we can renew it and if you see the details you can see DSCP server is the 199.254 and this is the DNS server and the gateway so the gateway settings are actually on the NAT setting you can see that this is the subnet IP subnet mask and this is the gateway now if we ping to Google 
server is connected to internet so our physical network and the netted subnet is completely different on the net network we have an option to connect a host virtual adapter to this network host virtual adapter name vmnet8 which is part of the net network if we choose the net network we will see another virtual network adapter is created on the system if we see the details of this adapter it got the IP address 199.1 which is out of the DSCP scope and from the virtual machine we can ping 199.1 this is for communicating with the physical host so physical host can communicate with the netted subnet so from the physical system if I want to connect to this virtual machine let's connect here I have logged into the virtual machine with the remote desktop from the host system so for the net network we have the net setting here we can also do port forwarding to internal virtual machines let's say host port 5000 virtual machine IP 99.145 virtual machine port 3389 RDP if we click OK now let's check our IP address so our IP address 50.101 now if we do remote desktop on 50.101 5000 port we are prompted for the username and password and we can do remote desktop on the virtual machine so from the virtual network editor we can also set port forwarding to internal virtual machine and this gateway IP also acting as a DNS server so if we connect our virtual machine to the NAT network it will get a different subnet from the VMware workstation it can communicate with a virtual network adapter connected with the host and we can also do port forwarding to virtual machine and we are getting DSCP service from the VMware workstation so hope you understand the net network settings now let's go to the host only here on the host only network I have two PC which are connected to the host only network if we go again to the virtual network editor on the host only network it is connected to VMNet1 it is for communicating with the host system this is the VMNet1 and also host only network is getting IP address from the DSCP server if we check mark this option net IP address range and host only IP address range are different if we see the DSCP setting it is from 128 to 254 18 subnet and there is no net setting or traffic will not go out from the virtual network if we check the IP configuration it is 18.129 and on the second system 18.128 so if we ping 18.129 we can ping and if we ping 18.128 we can ping each other but if we check the routing table there is no route for the default network so our VM cannot communicate with the internet and we have no way to define it for the host only network from here so our host only virtual machine will be completely isolated only physical system will get an adapter to communicate with the virtual machines
within the host only network if I ping from the physical system 18.128 we can ping 29 we can ping also so our host only network is completely isolated hope you understand the host only breached and NAT network and we can add different different network let's say vmnet 11 by default this vmnet 11 will get a ip subnet from the dscp setting and it will be by default host only network we cannot change it to nat because on each vmware workstation we can only define one nat network we can make it bridge if we have available LAN card for the bridging so we can create multiple host only network and from the physical system we can communicate with each host only network through a virtual network adapter so hope you understand the bridged host only NAT and custom network and on the LAN segment we can create LAN segment from here LAN segment is a group of virtual machine which are part of a LAN segment one virtual machine within a LAN segment cannot communicate with another virtual machine which is belongs to another LAN segment let's connect this virtual PC with the LAN segment 1 on the Windows 7 BR1 we have connected this virtual PC with the LAN segment 1 and I have a IP address 191.600.70 if you try to ping the other virtual machine we cannot ping because this virtual machine belongs to another LAN segment now if I make this virtual machine part of the same LAN segment now BR1 should ping to 71 and be at 2 also should ping to 70 so they are both part of the same LAN segment now let's say be at 2 is on the segment 2 if we change and be at 1 is on segment 1 so they should not ping each other now let's add another LAN card and that adapter should be part of LAN segment 2 now we have assigned an IP address for the second LAN card which is 100.72 and this LAN card is part of LAN segment 2 now this PC should ping to 171 here you can see Windows 7 now can ping to LAN segment 2 so in this way we can create LAN segment within the virtual machine network so this is it for today thank you for being with me and if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you so thank you I'll see you on the next video bye